Well, welcome to The Court Report. I am Zach Pop, and the man to my right, you know him as the lovely Christopher Stonebreaker. Now, Stoney, yeah. this is the final show of the year here on The Court Report. It is. So we're going to kind of go through some of the top moments from the 2014-15 high school basketball season. You know we had to do it. Next week, though, the final stretch yeah. starts, and we start off with the baseball season, softball, the spring sports. And we'll also we start be checking out stuff. NFL draft stuff, the NBA draft, and all that mm-hmm. fun stuff, too. So. But before we get there, it is the last show of The Court Report yeah. for the 2014-15 season, and we have some of the top moments to show you. And I'll tell you what, what, what do people at home love the most? Probably dunking. Yeah, you got that right. <laughs> so let's start it off with some of the best jams from this high school basketball season. And Stoney, you know who we got to start with. We got to start with Ashlyn Watkins, the fifth grade girl that dunked during a game on a nine foot rim in South Carolina. <laughs> Had people questioning the video until the nine foot info came out. Nobody is questioning this video. Oh no. Andy Lucian from North Olmsted out in Ohio. Check out the killer crossover. Takes it to the cup with the finish and the glare Split at the end. in the D. Now right Andy there. Lucian, he came famous for a little bit there. He was the top play on Sports Center. And he earned it right there with that jam. Andy Lucian, get up, young fella. Mm-hmm. Now, Michael Porter Jr., Oof. Father Tolton wow. in Missouri. Baby KD and second team sophomore All-American wowed us all with this just inside the free throw line soaring dunk. I really don't have to say much for the. Oh, Ouch. Malik Monk with the poster of the year. It's over. And Malik Monk, this kid is a baller. Number five overall in the 2016 class. Now, maybe the best dunk of the year, Hafid Yassin of Chief Self. Gets a boost from defender, Woo. sending his head Chin up. way over the rim. You got to see it one more time. Just look how high he gets. Blow out the candle, Green. <laughs> now check out my guy coming up here next, Derek Jones. I think the best dunker in high school basketball. I call him the Fetty Wap of dunking because Fetty Wap's got the hottest song in the game right now. <laughs> and this kid's the hottest dunker in all high school basketball right now. Derek Jones, man, this kid just owns dunk contests. Owns him, and yes, if he was in an NBA dunk contest, I think I would he love could seeing him and Zach Levine win. going at it. They're about the same age still, and everything. <laughs> <laughs> but hey, I mean, the best dunks are always, always nice to see, man. Yeah. It's, it's big time. Yeah, and now dunking is athleticism. Some yeah. say like when you're a good like dunker, I can't dunk. Yeah, I mean, I can't that, dunk. that says it. Yeah, it's a gift. Yeah. It's a true gift. Sometimes they say that you've won the lottery, yeah. basically, of athleticism when yeah. you're able to dunk either. You can jump really high or you're really tall. Um, These next feats that we're about to show you that were great moments of the 2014-15 basketball season maybe take in a little more luck, and that is the full court shot. And we begin with Blake Fulford of Tesoro High, and he starts us off and makes this one-handed full quarter to beat the third quarter buzzer from 90 feet out. That takes aim, strength, and a little bit of luck to bounce off that backboard <laughs> from 90 feet out. Now, I got a two for one right here. Check out Dunkerton's Bryce Rigdon. Look at the crazy behind the shoulder shot. But North Tom is like, I got this. Paul Kaufman from 85 feet buries from it. From the hip. Uh, I like my guy right here from Dunkerton, though. Rigdon, that was a nice little shot here. But Paul Kaufman stole the moment. He's like, sorry, bud. I'm going to take this full court heat. And he did the two shots. It wasn't just, you know, a lucky throw or anything. He put his legs to it, everything, buried it, boom, book it. Mm, now, man, Teo High's senior Kirtland Moore went full court as well with one hand and 1.6 seconds left in the first quarter to even get the ref hype of calling the bucket good. Check it out it right is. here. It's good. Mm. Buckets. I love it. <laughs> yeah. I love it. It's like love the and it. one. Count it. That was perfect. Count now, it. Now, Stoney, there's only one better shot than a full court heat. What is that? And that's when you got ice in your veins and you get that clutch gene mm-hmm. out and you knock in a game winning shot. And we were lucky. We saw plenty of these this year. So let's start out with Trey Fields, the son of the late Bobby Fields out for Charlotte Christian High School. Now, he knocks down this off balance three for the W. His team was trailing by one at that point. And Trey Fields knocks it in. Now, I know a lot of Charlotte Christian High School alums are hoping a former grad, Steph Curry, can do the same thing like this in the playoffs, man. Trey Fields, clutch. Kelly Thomas of St. Catharines in Wisconsin hits the game-winning buzzer beater over 24-7 sports. Top 10 prospect Diamond Stone of Dominican to not only get the victory, but snap Dominican's 44-game winning streak. He pump faked as the coach asked, and it worked. Diamond Stone is leaving the state of Wisconsin, though, and going to play at Maryland. Go ball with uh, Mellow Trimble, baby. Mm-hmm. Now, this is one of my favorite moments of the season. Bishop Dowd 
Modern day tied 64-64 for the CIF Open Division Championship. Now that was the first free throw attempt. Ivan Rab goes DeAndre Jordan. Doesn't even hit iron. But the, kid, the legs. Right, exactly. But he shows you this kid is confident, he's poised, knocks it in. Book it. Bishop O'Dowd wins their first state title within the last nine tries. They lost eight consecutive CIF division titles, and they also snapped modern day's streak of four in a row. And uh, Ivan Rab, man, he, he, he saw him playing right there, as you mentioned earlier. He's going to be playing there now for the Cal yep. Berkeley Bears. So looking forward to seeing him, and he decided to stay local. And, you know, it really gives Cal fans and the Pac-12 a lot to cheer about, man. This kid is just, he's prime time, baby. You've been saying it from the beginning that if he goes to Cal, it will be their biggest recruit since Jay Kidd. Jason Kidd. Yep. And that, that's a, that's some big shoes to fill. He, like we talk about it all the time, Jay Kidd surprises you where he is in all the rankings for three point shooting, yeah. assists, and so on. Triple doubles, great player, did some great things and at I, Cal. I, I wouldn't be surprised to see if Rav leads Cal, and especially if a guy like Jalen Brown will be touching on the set goes there. This team could make a final four run. But now, stick with guys who just committed. We're going to take a look at. And Steven Zimmerman, now he just announced this week he's going to fall for UNLV in the five-star seven-footer. Stay local, too. And I'm looking forward to seeing him hoop for the running Rebels there. And uh, along with Derek Jones, the guy we were showing earlier with uh, all the nasty jams. It'll be funny, fun to see these two guys fall for oh, UNLV. for sure. And commitments were a big-time moment this year. People yeah. committing like Ivan Rapp, Steven Zimmerman now. And uh, some of the other big moments and the big topic points this year were how many players didn't commit. Yep. Like this gentleman right here, Jalen Brown, the number two overall recruit, according to 24-7 Sports, still has yet to make up his decision. Yeah, we brought it up earlier. Could be headed off to Cal, because he wants to be a GM after his basketball days. Has a good head on his shoulder, thinking about going to Cal to get Ooh. that degree as well. It, Another he's like, gentleman. He's like Stanley and uh, Justice Winslow right there. As you're going to say, Thon Maker, too, though, a guy mm -hmm. a lot of people are paying attention to. He's balling up in Toronto, Ontario for Athlete Institute Academy. Now, Thon Maker, yeah. with number eight overall recruit, and whoever gets this guy is getting a very athletic and skilled big man. He reclassified to the class of 2015, did so because he's been everywhere. Yeah. He's been from Australia to, to Canada, <laughs> United States. He's a seven footer. Great athlete, people say. It's a Kevin Garnett yeah. type, and uh, he's going to make an impact wherever he goes. Maybe he joins LSU. Maybe he goes to Kansas. Maybe he goes to wherever he goes, he will be an and impact player. Another guy you got to see uh, a week or two ago yeah. up in the Windy City at the McDonald's All-American game, and that was our savior, New Americans, Czech Diallo out in New York, and he's the number seven overall recruit and uh, he also took home MVP he did that he, McDonald's game. he's an energy guy he's there he's getting rebounds blocking shots very good on the defensive side of the ball and again he could be a guy he might not be a one-and-done guy yeah. but he's a guy that will at least come in and give you really prime reminds minutes me of this freshman year reminds me a lot of Kenneth Free for sure a, a little bigger too, but I, I, I like the ceiling for Czech Diallo. Now one last guy we're going to touch on here from North Carolina, Kinston Highs, Brandon Ingram. And, and what really impressed you about Ingram's game? All around solid game. He knows how to score, uses length, can guard one through four-ish. Yeah. He is very light, he needs to put a little bit of weight on his muscles. But in general, as you see there, he's Good down deep. low, he's playing defense. But he can score. And, yeah. I mean, they're always going to compare him to Kevin Durant because of the fact that he's skinny and he can score and play all the positions. Um, but if he goes to Duke, that will be a very good pickup, yeah. especially after Duke losing the three freshmen yeah. they had. And, Stoney, you know we got to end the show talking about, as I like to call, yeah. the, the high rise from <laughs> down under. And that is LSU bound Ben Simmons. And we're also going to take a look at the national champs, too, yeah. his squad, Montverde Academy. You can't even talk about the 2014-15 year without talking yeah. about Ben Simmons, who came into the season as the number one overall recruit, and he went out as the Max Preps National Player of the Year. And then to do the same thing, Montverde Academy, the school that Ben Simmons goes to, yeah. came in as the excellent 25's preseason number one team in America, with Oak Hill being number two. And at the end of the year, Montverde ended number one in America after beating Oak Hill at the Dix Nationals. Just seemed fitting throughout the whole entire yeah, year no that doubt. those two would meet up in the championship to really have a legit national title. And uh, again, 
a big topic throughout the whole entire year was Ben Simmons, his play, and who was going to win that national championship between the undefeated Oak Hill Academy and Montverde Academy, and it ended up Montverde taking it. And I tell you what, you look at that guy right there, Ben Simmons, you're, you're looking at the 2016 first pick overall in the, in the draft. Great. I'm, I'm going to throw that on the wall, and that's how it's going to end. But uh, really, though, Oak Hill uh, playing Montverde really showed how great of a high school basketball season it was. And yeah. lived up to the hype. Seeing yeah. the two top teams in the country fall out for the Dix National Tournament bragging rights. Great year this year, and uh, I'm sad to see it go. But I'm looking forward to next year, the 2015-16 season. We've talked about it a lot when it comes down to high risers. Yeah. The 15-16 season will be filled yeah. with highlights. We got some boys that can jam in exactly. that class. And I tell you what, you don't have to wait until next year to watch more highlights. We have the final stretch starting up next week. So go ahead and check that out. That's all the time we have here. It's been fun on the court yep. report, baby. For yeah. Chris Stonebreaker, I'm Zach Pop here on maxpreps.com. Keep on clicking on.